know what this is? This is Warner's older brother, a third year Yale law student, Huntington III and his girlfriend Lane Walker Vanderbilt. She's a first year Yale law student. This is what I need to become. This is what Warner wants to marry. A law student. Those of you in the front row, beware. The law is reason free of passion. Who spoke those immortal words? Aristotle? Yes, it is Aristotle. Now, I assume all of you read pages 1 through 48 and are well rehearsed with the subject matter jurisdiction. Who can tell us about Jordan versus Steele? Elle Woods? Um, actually, I wasn't aware we had an assignment. Miss Kensington, do you think it is acceptable that Miss Woods is not prepared for class? And would you support my decision in asking her to leave class? Yes, I would. Hey, Warner, I feel like we don't get to see each other that much since we've been at school. Yeah, I know these case studies and hypos. I know what you mean. All this in Callahan's internship. Come on, Elle, you're never going to get the grades enough to qualify for his internship. You're not smart enough. Be serious, Elle. You could do something more valuable with your time. Warren, are we not just getting to the same law school? I'm never going to be smart enough for you, am I? I'll show you how valuable Elle Woods can be. You filed a claim. What next? Miss Woods. Don't you need evidence? Like, reasonable belief your claim should have evidentiary support? And what kind of evidence you support? Get up, you're fired. I have a new attorney, Elle Woods. Who is representing the defendant? I am your honor and I am fully prepared to represent my client. Okay, Miss Woods, you may begin your questioning. Miss Wyndham, when you arrived back at the house, was your father there? Not that I saw, but like I said, I went straight upstairs to take a shower. And when he came downstairs, what happened? Did you see Brooke with the gun? Did you hear any shots fired? I saw Brooke standing over my father's dead body, drenched in his blood. I did not see a gun, and I didn't hear anything because I was in the shower. So sometime within the 20 minutes that you were in the shower, your father was shot. Your father was shot while you were in the shower, but you didn't hear anything because, because you were in the shower? Yes, I was washing my hair. Miss Wyndham, what had you done earlier that day? Got up, got a latte, went to the gym, got a perm, and came home. When you got in the shower, I believe the witnesses made it clear that she was in the shower. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Miss Wyndham, have you ever gotten a perm before? Two a year since I was 12. You do that. My friend Tracy got a perm and her curls were ruined when she got them wet. Let me ask Miss Wyndham, why were Tracy's curls ruined when she got them wet? Because she got her hair wet? Exactly. Because isn't it the first common rule for maintenance that you're forbidden to wet your hair for at least 24 hours after getting a perm at the risk of deactivating the ammonium phyglocolite? Yes. And wouldn't someone that say 30 perms in their life be well aware of this rule? And if in fact you weren't washing your hair as I suspect you were because your curls was in the tech, wouldn't you have heard the gunshot? And if in fact you would have heard the gunshot, but would have tried to hide the gun before you got downstairs, which would have meant you would have found Mrs. Wyndham with the gun in her hand to make your story possible. Isn't that right? You all ever had time to hide your gun after you shot your father. I didn't mean to shoot him. I thought it was you walking through the door. Oh my god. Bailiff, take the witness into custody while she'll be charged with the murder of Hayworth Wyndham. As for you, Mrs. Wyndham, you're free to go.